Okay, we'll get started here. This is Scrappy. Hopefully, uh, what I'm going to try to do here, this is going to be a short, down and dirty, to the point video on uh, the all-in-one SEO pack, search engine optimization pack, WordPress plugin, specifically using the Karma theme. I'm hosting this particular website that I built on HostGator. I'm using the WordPress uh, plugin. I'm in the back end of my website. Um, the if you're using a standard theme or another theme you purchased, I purchased the Karma theme from ThemeForce. There's hundreds and hundreds of themes. Um, and uh, this particular uh, theme has the all-in-one SEO pack built in. Here's a response from them. We simply acquired a developer's license, cleaned it up. They're talking about that all-in-one SEO pack. And we integrated it into the theme for easy management. So that's from True Themes. So they've actually integrated the all-in-one. It looks a little bit different, but the all-in-one SEO pack into this. So obviously if you're using uh, a theme that it's built into, you don't need to go to plugins and install or add a new plugin. And if you were gonna add a new one, it's the all-in-one SEO pack. Uh, widely, widely used, very popular plugin. And that's to get you ranked and searched and properly indexed in Google. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot of settings don't make it more complicated than it is and hopefully i'm going to show you that uh, i watched a, i didn't know really how to what to put there and the true themes help desk was of zero help um they just said watch some tutorials or try to search for all in one seo pack so i did i watched a lot of videos watched um read a lot of blogs and i've narrowed it down to the easiest way to do this so this is built in to karma so i'm just going to go to appearance and SEO settings. If you're having to install the plugin, you'll likely have to go to settings and it'll be somewhere down in here, your SEO settings. But mine's built in, so I just go to SEO settings. Now I have mine pretty much filled out for this website. The first one, home title, is just the title of your website. That's what's gonna appear up here. So whatever you write there, that's what's gonna appear up here. Make it kind of short and to the point. You can see mine there. Um, you can put a breaker and some information if you want. That's what I mean by a breaker. Um, but that's what's gonna appear at the top of my website. And then down here, just a really quick description. And uh, this, by the way, does get, I believe, get searched by Google. So what you put in here um, can help search results. So make it specific to your website. Um, this is a quick description of your website. Um, and what when you search Google, when you do a search and you get a bunch of results, you'll see a link like for the link of a, uh, the actual page and then underneath it you'll see one or two sentences with a brief description. That's what, where this comes in, the home description. Those are the one or two lines that you're gonna see written underneath the actual link to your page on a Google search or a, a uh, search engine search. So, especially Google, you'll see the two lines there. So make it brief to the point, you only get like two lines, um, so anything after that's gonna get cut off. Keywords. Make some really specific keywords separated by commas about your website. Uh, that's gonna make it stand out. Um, and we're just gonna go down. Some of these I'll explain, some I won't. I wanna keep this very simple for you. Keep this checked. We're not even gonna explain that, but it'll help prevent duplicate contact penalties by Google. Keep it checked. Rewrite rules, keep that checked. Um, this is what you see in your browser's title bar up here. So keep that checked. Um, all right, and then we get down to here. You'll see some other videos of the actual all-in-one SEO pack that's not built in. And some of these boxes are filled in. Um, all they didn't help at all on what I was supposed to put in, but these are these are what you should put in. Um, you've got a couple options too, but these are the things that'll allow you to write in. And post title format. This would be um, for your post title. Um, and that's what's gonna uh, show up up here, your post title when you post a blog. If you want, you can also put a breaker and you can uh, do something like this. You'll see some people do, which you can. Okay, so you'd have post title. So on one of your blogs that got searched and or came up and people hit your blog, it would be post title and then you're basically your web page, your blog title. Um, I pretty much, you can do that on pretty much any one of these boxes that you want all the way down. If you want to do 
page title, break, blog title, that's fine. It just means on your page title you're going to have, I, people already know the way I see it, what website they're on, so I'm going to play with this a little bit for a while, um, and I'm not putting this in. But you certainly can. Um, feel free to. I don't think it's going to make or break a huge amount, but I think it's easier to search for posts. It might be, I believe there might be more hits and it's more specific than having to have my uh, web page title in there on top of my post title. I would rather it just be searched just by my post title. Page title, this is going to be your page title up here if they go to a page. Um, so it'll say your page and then if you want you could put break blog the blog title. Um, again, it's allowed right here. Um, and then it would show that plus your web. But again, just for search results, uh, I'm going to leave it off. And I pretty much take it out of all of them. Category title, simple. Just do your category title one right here. Okay. And again, I don't want to beat it to death, but you can put break and then that right there, blog title. Um, the only one I really leave the blog title on is the archive title format. Um, tag title, I just use exactly that right here. Tag search same search description description and there are, again it's uh labeled right here for you and then on 404 nothing's written in here and you wouldn't have a clue what to do and like i say true themes of they're, they're it's a good they have really good support except i'm not very happy with them on this particular issue they need to have a tutorial video for this they have lots of tutorial videos but not for this and they actually built this into their site and they're not going to basically tell us how to use it um, or give us reasons for doing certain things. Um, but anyways, um, blog title right here. Um, I, the, I just do request words 404. I just put nothing found for, and then whatever words they requested will show up. So nothing found for um, request words, and that's a uh, one that's allowed right here. Okay, um, and then page title format is the last one you wouldn't know about, and just I would just put something like this part and then page number, okay? And that's the only one that's allowed here anyways, and you can just write the word part before it, okay? All right. Um, SEO for custom post types, keep that checked. We won't talk about that a lot. And I'm not gonna talk about custom post types for SEO column support, post page and feedback. These were already in here. I would just leave this stock the way it is. Um, use category meta tags for keywords. Yes, keep this checked. That's if you want categories for a given post. Use meta keywords if you don't put any key, which will go to an actual post here in a minute. Um, and with this plugin, there's a, you can put keywords and titles for each post you do for more specific Google searches or search engine searches. But if you forget to do that or you don't have time, this will just grab some content out of your post and uh, it'll be helpful. Um, use tags for meta keywords, same. Keep that checked. Dynamically generate keywords for post page, yes. Um, again, if you don't write keywords or description, um, it'll automatically try to generate some keywords um, for search engines. This is probably one of the only ones I didn't check, and you can, it's not gonna be a huge deal. Again, don't make this complicated, but check this for excluding category pages from being crawled, used for avoiding duplicate content. I really don't care if there's duplicate content on um, categories. I'd rather have people find my stuff even if it's duplicated. That's just me. Um, it's not going to hurt if you check it. Check, use, I, I leave that. No, I don't care if they index or uh, my archives. Um, no index for tag archives. Um, I keep this unchecked. Again, useful for avoiding duplicate content, but my tag archives, I really don't care if there's duplicate content. Um, and then make sure you have these two checked. Auto-generate description. Um, it'll auto-generate if there's no excerpt. So if you don't do an excerpt in your particular post, it's going to generate one for you. Keep capitalized category title on. So that's it. These down here, don't use them. Don't even mess with them. Just leave all these boxes blank. Make sure to update your settings once you get that. And you're good to go. Now we'll go to an actual post and I'll just uh, look at all my posts and we'll go into a post I wrote, um, a blog, what you need for a trip. I'll just edit this. Um, and you can see with this plugin at the bottom of your blog posts, you're going to see this SEO settings. And for each blog, you can see this one, I haven't done a title. Um, 
So uh, you can put a very simple title. I make it a little bit different when I do do it. Um, what you need for a trip, because this is going to be crawled and searched also, what you need for a trip. But down here, I might make it just a little bit different, like what you might need for a motorcycle excursion or just something like that. But that changes it up a little bit than from your title, so it gets searched two different ways. Um, that's just a good idea. You have only 60 characters, so keep it brief. Um, and then in your description, just make a really less than 160 characters. It says right here, a brief description. You know, this blog is about what you need for uh, taking a week-long motor motorcycle trip and what you need to pack. You know, something simple like that. And then some basic keywords. Don't get too crazy with this. You know, six, seven keywords, whatever, somewhere in there, separated by commas um, that are very specific to your blog. And then once you fill all that out, you can just submit, update your blog, and you will now have SEO uh, search engine optimization settings for that specific blog. Uh, that'll be a better way for it to be searched by search engines. So hopefully that takes the a little bit of the uh, uh, fear out of um, that. And like I said, there's a lot of information out there and a lot of people doing things, and it's not always explained very well. I hope that makes it easy. Believe me, it's not rocket science and you're not going to screw anything up big time. You know, if you're a huge, huge company, you know, million dollar company, then you probably have people that are doing this for you. But if you're just running blogs and building your own websites and, you know, those settings there um, and tweaking those little things I showed you are going to be just fine uh, for your needs. So get in there, um, set it up and you'll be squared away. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, like it, please. Um, I have a bunch of other tutorial videos on WordPress and especially using the Karma theme. Um, leave your comments. The more of that stuff I get encourages me to make more of these videos. All right, peace out.